there's a metal that costs $30,000 per ounce. That's 15 times more expensive than gold, more valuable than platinum, more precious than diamonds by weight, and you've probably never heard of it. It's not in jewelry stores, not in investment portfolios, not in bank vaults, but it's in your car right now, sitting there doing something gold could never do. Something that's kept you alive every single time you've sat in traffic. Breathing exhaust from the truck in front of you. You've rolled up your windows following diesel trucks, right? Covered your AC vent at stoplights. Held your breath behind old cars, belching black smoke. You thought you were protecting yourself from dirty air. That smoke should have killed you. Carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, unburned gasoline, all of it poison. It didn't kill you because of this metal. So what is it? Why does it cost more than gold? And why is someone probably stealing it from a parking lot somewhere right now? Let's explore the process. The metal is rhodium, and it lives inside that metal box under your car, the catalytic converter. You know that exhaust coming out of cars? Carbon monoxide, the same gas that kills people in closed garages. Nitrogen oxides, the brown smog choking cities. Unburned gasoline vapors, all of it poison. Your car creates all three of these toxins every second the engine runs. They flow into the catalytic converter at 800 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt aluminum hot enough to glow red. Inside, they hit rhodium, and rhodium does something no other metal can do. It doesn't filter the poison, it transforms it. Carbon monoxide becomes carbon dioxide. Nitrogen oxides become plain nitrogen. Hydrocarbons become water vapor. Poison becomes air you can breathe. You probably assumed your car had better filters than old cars, not filters. Chemistry, and rhodium is the only thing making that chemistry happen. So why is rhodium so expensive? Because it's stupidly, impossibly rare. Gold is rare, right? People fight wars over gold. Nations hoard gold. Rhodium is 1,500 times rarer than gold. Let me put that in perspective. If you took every gram of rhodium ever mined in all of human history and melted it down, it would fit in a room smaller than your bedroom. That's all the rhodium that exists on Earth accessible to humans. Compare that to gold. We mine about 3,000 tons of gold every year. Rhodium? 30 tons. Total. For the entire world. That's 1% of gold production. But here's the kicker. You can't mine rhodium directly. There are no rhodium mines. The metal only exists as traces, parts per billion, inside platinum ore. When companies mine platinum in South Africa, they process a million grams of rock to maybe get one gram of rhodium as byproduct, as waste nobody wanted. This trash metal that nobody cared about for 200 years happens to be the only substance that survives 800 degree heat while transforming car exhaust into clean air. And we can't get more unless platinum miners dig more platinum. Now here's where it gets interesting. The price of rhodium is insane. In the year 2000, rhodium cost $500 per ounce. By 2008, it hit $10,000 then crashed back to $1,000 during the financial crisis. Then in 2020, it shot up to $29,000 per ounce, almost $30,000 for one ounce of metal. Why? Because 80% of all rhodium comes from South Africa. When those mines shut down, labor strikes, COVID lockdowns, maintenance, global supply drops by 80% overnight. Meanwhile, Every country keeps making emission standards stricter. More emissions control means more rhodium per car. Demand goes up. Supply stays stuck.
price explodes. This is why catalytic converter theft became an epidemic. You've seen the news. Cars on blocks. Converters sawed off in parking lots. Each converter has about one gram of rhodium. At $30,000 per ounce, one gram is worth about $1,000. Takes a thief two minutes with a reciprocating saw. That's $500 per minute, tax-free. They're not stealing car parts. They're mining the rarest metal on Earth from parking lots because it's easier than digging it from platinum mines in South Africa. You'd think someone would find a replacement. They've been trying for 40 years. Can't be done. Rhodium does something unique. It survives extreme heat, doesn't corrode, and specifically transforms nitrogen oxides, the hardest pollutant to eliminate. Platinum works for some reactions, but fails on nitrogen oxides. Palladium corrodes too fast at high temperatures. No other element combines all three properties. Rhodium has. Scientists have tested thousands of alternative materials. Some reduce the amount of rhodium needed by mixing it with other metals. None eliminate rhodium entirely. It's irreplaceable, which means every car manufactured needs rhodium. Every country writing stricter emission laws needs more rhodium. And we're stuck with 30 tons per year, total global production, most of it byproduct from a single country's platinum mining. The world produces 3,000 tons of gold per year for comparison. Rhodium? 30 tons, 1% of gold production, for a metal that every single car on Earth depends on to not poison everyone. So that metal costing more than gold isn't sitting in vaults or jewelry stores. It's under your car, converting poison into air, being stolen from parking lots because it's worth more than cocaine by weight, coming from a single country as mining waste, with no replacement possible. You've been breathing safely in traffic jams because 30 tons per year of the rarest metal on Earth is doing chemistry nothing else can do. And maybe you'll think about that next time you're stuck behind a diesel truck. Because you're someone who understands that breathing doesn't happen automatically. It depends on invisible metal, most people never heard of. That's the process. We reveal how things actually work, one story at a time. If there's something you'd like us to explore next, let us know. Until then, trust the process.